Hey guys, Eric Sue here. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to another episode of Goality Lifestyle Podcast. This is the second of 14 episodes about my new training program. I'm going to be talking about Module 1 again, creating BHAGs and motivating fitness goals. I'm going to be talking about another point in this module, so stay tuned. All right, you guys, before we jump into today's episode, I just have a few reminders for you. Today's episode is sponsored by Jumpstart. It's my mini online training program that includes three master classes about working out and losing weight. It includes my Core Secrets workshop and it has some DIY recipes for you. So over the next four weeks, I'm going to be talking a little bit more about the seven modules in my new training program. Again, the training program that I'm designing is to help stay-at-home moms and hardworking dads who, at no fault of their own, are struggling to lose weight, eat healthy, and live a healthier life. I'm going to be doing 14 episodes to cover a little bit about each of the seven modules. So remember to subscribe so that you won't miss out on any episode. And the last thing is that I am looking for a name for the new training program. And this is the way you can participate. And all you have to do is go to the website that I created that will launch on February 21st, 2021. And if your name is chosen, you will get free access to this new training program. And for everyone else who enters, however their name wasn't chosen, you'll get a discount to the program. So it's a win-win for everyone. So start thinking of a name now. And there are going to be name requirements for the name in the description so you'll know what to think of. All right, let's get right to the episode. All right, you guys, so this module is about creating goals and BHAGs I talked about in the last episode. If you didn't catch that, go ahead and check that out. In this episode, I want to talk about picking goals that excite you. I remember a lot of clients that I've spoken to and um, they're afraid of picking goals because of um, not being able to reach them and being disappointed and feeling um, defeated because of the goals that they've chosen and they weren't able to meet them. Well, I wanted to kind of change all that by uh, suggesting how to pick goals that excite you. And the reason is because um, we want to be able to um, wake up every day knowing that we're getting closer uh, to our uh, end result and that um, it's motivating, right? And so um, by picking goals that excite you, I think it, it's way better. And then fundamentally, I think you understand that it can be uh, much easier to get up and work out once you have a goal that excites you, right? And so let me just quickly go over some of the ideas that I think um, you may have overlooked. Okay, so you see here in the list here um, some uh, events specifically that might uh, some events and some things here that might excite you in picking your fitness goal, right? Um, some of us may have a reunion to be looking forward to, right? Um, this one right here is kind of popular with a lot of people I've talked to because uh, whether it be a school, whether it be some type of fraternity, sorority, some type of reunion where you're meeting people that you haven't seen in a while. I think that is pretty exciting to be able to go back uh, and meet these people and whether it be um, show some person that you've changed or uh, have awesome um, physique transformation that people wouldn't recognize you or something that would be really exciting right so a reunion might excite you um, something similar but close to would be like going on a date right um, perhaps um, you've had this long long um, distance relationship and you wanted to surprise this person on a um, on a special date that you selected where you are showing up um, all changed and all you know fit and whatever and so that would be something that to um, get excited about right and here's another one kids oh man I remember where I was um, talking to this person who was uh, very overweight and um, you know, they wanted to lose the weight for uh, the ability to be around for their kids, right? 
And what about that feeling of being around for your kids um, and how exciting that day will feel when you're um, being asked to do something and you're you're able to do it because you're fit, right? So something like that might excite you. Um, another big one here I know a lot of people will be thinking about in the next few months would be vacations, right? Um, knowing that we've all put things on hold last year due to the pandemic, you know, the vacation um, idea here that we're going to be going on this year, it's exciting. It, it's something to look forward to. And being in shape and looking your best in your swimsuit or whatever is something that you can uh, look forward to and it will be very exciting. Speaking of swimsuits, you know, maybe it's just about fitting in a particular um dress or a particular shirt or pants or something like that and um choosing that outfit as the reason uh or goal to get excited about working out i think that would be awesome this last one here i just threw in here because some of us might be going to amusement parks disney and six flags or whatnot and um maybe you were a little bit overweight and you weren't able to fit in one of those small little um you know seats and so would it be exciting to be able to get back into shape so that you can get onto that ride, right? Okay, so these are just examples that I've come up with, but picking goals that excite you is something that I think is very key. And a lot of these things really happen. And so because they happen, I, I think that um, there's something to be said about these. Okay, so, but that's something I wanted to talk about in my um, training program and be able to share with you guys now so that you guys um, know what that what you can expect in that module okay all right that's all i have for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, just as a reminder there is that name the new program training program contest um, the website that you can uh, use to submit that will be launched on february 21st so um, you got a few weeks to think about that name and um, the reason why you want to name or submit a name is because that if your name is chosen you'll get free access to this new training program and even if your name wasn't chosen but you did submit uh, a name you will get a discount to this um, new training program as well all right so either way i think it's worth to submit a name all right so all right i hope you guys enjoyed this one and until next time stay active and be safe